In this video, we're going to combine several of the things we learned in the last couple of videos. What we want to do in this video is make a page with the town map on it. So I'm going to go to Add New, simply make a page called Map. And now I want a Google Map here. What I really want to do is simply paste in the URL of a Google Map and have it magically make a map. The problem is, if we go to the WordPress OEmbeds page, you'll note that Google Maps are not on this list. So, if there's something you want to do in WordPress and it doesn't do it out of the box, look for a plugin. So I'm going to go back to my site, click Publish, and leave this page and go to Plugins, Add New. Now, the plugin that we want is called Embed Press, and we can find it simply by clicking in the Search Plugins box and typing Embed Press. And I don't even have to hit Enter. WordPress simply searches for me. You can see it was last updated two weeks ago, has one five-star rating, and more than 200 active installs. Let's click More Details. As we scroll down, you can see a list of the content that it can embed. And right here is Google Maps. So I can click Install Now right there, or I can click Install Now here. It doesn't matter. And now I click Activate. So now let's go get a map. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. I searched for Wordville, and there isn't a Wordville anywhere in the world. But there is a Wardville, Oklahoma, and it is a very small town. But that's okay. I'm going to grab the address and then go back to our admin area, find our maps page. and paste in the URL right here. And there we are. Now, town is kind of over here, and I don't really like that. If I click in pencil, it lets me change the URL and the size, but it doesn't let me reposition the map. So I'm simply going to reposition it here. And that actually changes the URL. And there we go. Now town is a little bit more centered. So now I'm going to click Update. And now let's view page. So now we have fully usable Google Map. And we can zoom right in on town. So what we've done here is extend WordPress's existing tools of OEmbed with a plugin. And the reason that works is that the WordPress OEmbed system was written specifically to allow people to add their own options. You may have noticed in the list on the plugin details that there are a lot of added things. Ustream can do live streaming video. A variety of Google tools can be embedded for presentations and whatnot. Facebook posts can be embedded. Lots and lots of things. So the important lesson in this video is that if there's something you want to do, there's probably a plugin for it. What we did is find EmbedPress and make this cool maps page.